Patients should be concerned if they're experiencing new symptoms of flutters, skips, sustained palpitations, especially if they're associated with other symptoms like chest discomfort, shortness of breath, near passing out episodes, or those that make them pass out. I was frightened. I don't know what was going on. I've said, I've, I've never smoked, never drank eat healthy, exercise. Something is definitely wrong. Some of the most common causes of heart palpitations can be stress, sleep disorders, caffeine, decongestants, alcohol, any stimulants, thyroid disorders, high blood pressure, other medical problems. We also see it associated, interestingly, with women in their hormonal cycles, whether it's the week prior to their periods or if they're going through menopause. It was so frightening, I never know when it's gonna happen. And when it happens, I just get like drained. I cannot do anything. The treatments available for symptoms of skips, flips, flutters, or palpitations can be a wide spectrum. She gave me three options. She told me what was the problem. She said, we can put you on a medicine regularly, or we can put you on a PRN medicine that you take whenever it comes, or there's another procedure that you have to do. An electrophysiology procedure where we study the electricity of the heart. Do we need to intervene with an ablation where we give some microscopic burns or cool the area that can interrupt these circuits? We know as women our number one health threat is heart attack and stroke. And all bets are off on the classic Hollywood heart attack sign telling us heart disease is here. It's not always chest pain. The mission of the St. Luke's Muriel I. Kaufman Women's Heart Center is to educate women about their heart health and to encourage them to be proactive about their risk factors, what they can do to prevent their number one health threat. If you have any symptoms that you do not understand, do not stop at one doctor that may tell you something different. Do your research, ask other people, and try to be your best advocate.